Hello and welcome to The Hump. Today we're talking all things satisfaction. Joining me on the panel, we have Meg. Hello. Julius. I'm satisfied. And Jace. Um, yet to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with today's news. We've just put two roadshows online for registration. NTech New Zealand rolls out in July and it's practically full. We're really excited about that one. It does Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch. You can book now. Here's the address. And ICTech comes around in October. That goes Perth all the way around Australia. It is on the future of technology, venue design, and it's the audiovisual roadshow. We look forward to seeing you then. The Mackie DL32R is a powerful 32 channel digital mixer, completely controlled wirelessly from Mackie's intuitive Master Fader iPad app, freeing you to get in the mix like never before. The Master Fader control app is where everything happens. It's the most intuitive control app on the market, proven at more than 2 million live shows the world over. Download Master Fader for yourself to see it in action. Thanks for watching. And welcome back. Satisfaction. Now to me, being satisfied would be... <laughs> <laughs> Getting paid on time. Oh. That would be it. <laughs> We're all waiting for that. I know, I know yeah, that was okay. a bit loaded. All right. Getting paid on time in this industry, yep. that, 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 that is, is it. Oh, the that checks is in the mail, so check. <laughs> yeah, checks. Um, I would also say seeing a good gig that you've paid for and it's quality. Mm. Sounds good, mm. you've got good position. That to me is satisfying when you get exactly what you think it's going to be mm. in going to a gig. The thing I always loved about working live was the fact on that job it is instant satisfaction. Like having done a few different jobs that when you're actually working on a live production and doing something like mixing like I was doing, mm. when it just all is right and sits right uh, and you've done a good job, you are good. instantly gratified as opposed to working on some vaguely nebulous project for a year and yep. something happened and then, you know. When you can't really in immediately point to whatever it was you were doing and the results from it, but that doesn't happen in live production. Mm -hmm. It's right there, it's right in front of you, and it's right now. Yep. Of course, the opposite of that is things are going very, very badly. You have the opposite of satisfaction. Yep. But, it, it's yeah. also nice when the artist thanks you, you know, when yeah. you've done a good job. That's mm. quite satisfying. Or when they get, you know, karma back to them when they've done a crap show and they get crap mm. reviews. <laughs> That's kind of satisfying too. Yeah. Oh, nice evil, That's, Sophie. Yeah. Right, cool. That turned. Um, I do a lot of um, work to camera, so and I don't do a lot of live performance. But I did a show um, a couple of years back for and to raise money for domestic violence mm. against women. The show was called Vagina Monologues, mm -hmm. and that was probably the most satisfying job that I ever did because the money went to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he can't yes, handle that word. Mm. <laughs> it's a, a it's stories written by Eve Ensler, and it's. Um, she interviewed a lot of women around the world uh, who... No. I don't think you'd enjoy uh, the show. He I would, <laughs> yes. That's been running for years. People do How do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> I... I don't, I don't think remember. he's acquainted with the material. No, I don't think so. But anyway, it was, it was just a brilliant... What does it sound show. like? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, it was brilliant. I was satisfied mm. thoroughly mm. <laughs> by the feedback, the microphone positioning, mm. the lighting, the clap ring. You got the clap ring. <laughs> and Sophie, do we need to go to Gearbox or something? No, not yet. Not yet. No, no Julius, no. come on. We're talking okay. things satisfying. If you can get a grip. If you can get a grip. Satisfying. <laughs> get, get out of the sexual realm. Well. Okay. What, what, <laughs> what is satisfaction for you on a gig, Julius? Oh, the so end. Yeah? Oh, well, when everybody leaves happy. Yeah. And it's warm. It's just mm. an enveloping feeling. Mm. Love mm. a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got to shut this down. We'll be back after this.
Luminex GigaCore 26i is a gigabit managed AV switch designed to cope with the most demanding lighting and AV installations with high port density. As is the case in the rest of the GigaCore family, the switch is validated for use with common AV protocols like ArtNet, ACN, MANet, Dante, AES67 and QLAN. The GigaCore 26i can also be easily managed through an intuitive web interface without the need of any IT experience. Welcome back. Now there's something called a lawyer test that I am unaware of. When um, a baby is named, I just have a new niece. She mm -hmm. was just born yesterday. Um, and I want to know if her name is going to pass this lawyer test. Okay. What is it, the lawyer, the lawyer test is when you, you're looking at naming a, a child and you imagine you've committed some kind of crime and you're being appointed a public defender. And that public right. defender's name is... Right. So what you don't want is like, you know, like Candy Crystal or something <laughs> like that. So what's your niece's name? So what's your niece's name? Pepper. Yeah. What's her name? Pearson. Oh, that's Pepper lovely. Pearson. That's, that's nice. lovely. Which, yeah, I, I think it's all right. But yeah. I understand what you're saying because baby names are often cute, right? Yeah. 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 But when they grow up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I knew this lady and she, if she was having a girl, her, she was going to name the, the girl Tess. Yeah. But she failed to realise that her last name was Steggles. <laughs> Tess <Testicles>. Steggles. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah, yes. sweet name. I know. Anyway, so I, <laughs> her name's Tracy now. So. <laughs> Somewhere in the same region, there was a member of the New South Wales Parliament called Richard Head. <laughs> Unfortunately, I love the fact he was a member. That's great. He was you, a just, member. you just wonder what the parents are thinking, don't you? Yeah. Or not. They, it's like, exactly. They haven't thought this through. You had another one, didn't you? I had. I had at school. My school captain was Alice Cooper. And um, not the Alice Cooper. No, she was a gorgeous girl, but it was just every well, time she got up to yeah, speak at assemblies in Congress. Like, yeah. Where's your rock band? <laughs> Did she ever do schools out? No. no really cool. right. um, we've, I reckon names for people from the industry. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. I reckon if a rigger had a child, yeah. Shane Block. That's pretty good. <laughs> we need more, though. We need more. We so need more. we want, email us, email yeah. us. We want silly names for people who work in the live industry. That's Send them in. Want. Send them on in. <laughs> We're using KSM 8s from Shaw. You have the lovely polished nickel finish, and I have the one that is black, like the colour of my heart. Um, true. This is a dual dyne or dual diaphragm microphone and the idea of this is that sound not only goes into the front of the microphone but also into its cavity in the side and it hits a second diaphragm. Mm. And they've set up the, the way those two things interface with each other basically to negate the proximity effect that occurs with dynamic microphones as we know them. Well, I'm satisfied. How about you guys? Mm, working mm -hmm. on it. I hope you're satisfied after today's edition of The Hump. We'll see you for more next week. Bye. Bye-bye.